Well, it is one of the stars of springtime around here in D.C. We're talking about the beloved cherry trees, affectionately with the one that's called Stumpy. <laughs> but Stumpy's days, unfortunately, they're numbered. Thanks to a major construction project now underway down at the Tidal Basin. Fox 5's Bob Barnard is there right now to tell us exactly what's going on. Hey, Bob. Hey there, Angie. To get ready to repair and replace a huge section of the seawall here at the Tidal Basin, contractors working for the National Park Service yesterday began cutting down scores of cherry trees, and it is not a pretty sight. These are the trees we all come to admire during cherry blossom season, but there is one tree in particular that has many people feeling blue today. Here's a look at Stumpy this afternoon. Isolated and surrounded in protective fencing, his life extended another couple of weeks while the cutting down of scores of cherry trees along the Tidal Basin is drastically changing the appearance of this national treasure. Well, I mean, it's sad, but it has to be done in order to repair the seawall. We asked the National Park Service's Mike Litterist what's to become of Stumpy and why it's still standing. One of the things that we're doing to sort of perpetuate Stumpy's legacy is to um, have our friends at the National Arboretum uh, take cuttings of, of Stumpy. They'll use those to create genetic matches so we can plant trees that are genetically identical to Stumpy. Um, not quite far enough in its spring uh, maturity for us to take those clippings, so we're working around uh, Stumpy until we're able to, to, to get those, those clippings. Um, and get them over to the Arboretum. It's a $113 million three-year project to replace and repair the seawalls around the Tidal Basin and along the Potomac River at West Potomac Park. The trail around the Tidal Basin will remain open with rolling detours. It doesn't look the best, you know, especially with so many tourists and everything going on. 158 cherry trees are being cut down. They'll be replaced by 274 new ones. A total of 300 trees are being removed. 455 will replace them. Because when I first walked up, I thought they were infested with termites or some type of bug, but uh, it's unfortunate they had to do that. But the wall is probably a bigger part of history than the trees themselves. The seawalls flood twice a day at high tide. The Park Service says rising sea levels and poor drainage are to blame for the damage here. It's a couple of years of, of, yes, construction and, you know, not very good to look at. But the trade-off is that well into the next century, we will have created an environment where those trees, uh, you know, that we replace, you know, will thrive and survive. Now, the section of seawall being replaced here along the Tidal Basin is in this southwest section between the Jefferson Memorial and the FDR Memorial. And as you heard Mike say, it's going to be at least the next two cherry blossom season that this seasons that this area is going to be a construction zone, guys.